Hello guys. Uh, so today I'll be reviewing my interview experience uh, at Nagaro and uh, at the time of interview I was having around 5.5 years of experience and this position was for automation testing and uh, like the position was for associate staff engineer. So initially like uh, I was contacted by one of uh, the HRs not exactly like it was uh, what do you call consultancy so i was contacted through consultancy and um, like they initially discussed like what will be my position and everything and after that like the main nagaro team contacted me regarding the aptitude test so surprisingly this aptitude test uh, is for 1 hour and it contains uh, around 45 to 60 questions and like basic aptitude nothing nothing fancy and like basic aptitude questions but like uh, some questions were uh, really tricky so like the upstream downstream river kind of questions that was uh, like a little difficult otherwise uh, the basic mathematics and um, like design patterns um, etc aptitude <coughs> and reasoning questions so <coughs> it is uh, on one of their portals and just like any other interview once you open their portal you cannot open any other tab and uh, like uh, you have to keep your cam and mic on all the time so like what i mean to say like you cannot cheat in this exam and you have to like uh, give it your best shot after that like uh, i was called in for the domain specific test so that can differ from um uh, like what position you are applying for and uh, this is regarding like uh, basic java selenium um uh, questions so it lasted for around uh, like 30 minutes and java selenium yep and this is also i felt like uh, apart from 20% of the exam uh, rest was uh, pretty easy and uh, if you have like prepared well you can easily like crack uh, both these uh, both these uh, rounds and after that uh, you are called in for the face to face interview and uh, this uh, lasted for around like 30 minutes after that uh, this uh, round 3 actual round 1 of interview and uh, it started with the basic introduction and after that uh, like the basic java selenium and uh, later like these are the questions which are which i can remember from the interview and surprisingly like uh, this interview was for 20 minutes only so i'll tell you the story later and uh, so this question regarding uh, like page object model and page factory difference so like the page object model is the designing strategy and page factory is used to achieve the pom so the difference uh, between the page object model and uh, page factory so page object model is an design approach and uh, page factory is uh, like used to achieve uh, the page object model strategy and we use uh, by annotation in page object model and uh, find by annotation in uh, page factory and like you can tell uh, which one can handle exceptions efficiently and uh, so like the basic differences between them after that um, like driver capabilities so this is regarding whether you want to test your uh, product in like on the mobile device or which like uh, um, format you want to test so there are different driver capabilities uh, the difference between hash set and hash map so like you can simply tell that hash set belongs to the like uh, set interface and a hash map uh, is uh, in map interface and in hash set you cannot have duplicate values in hash map you cannot have uh, like uh, different uh, keys 
and what approaches you will follow to make your framework more dynamic so when these kinds of uh, questions are uh, asked so try to interact more, uh, more with the uh, interviewer and ask a question like cross question him like uh, how is your what kind of framework uh, is it and like what do you mean by dynamic so after that like um, you can jot down your points and try to like cover all the uh, all the things which you think can make the framework more dynamic like um, the right amount of weight because uh, if you are you are using like thread dot sleep and uh, in spite of that you can uh, use the explicit weights and all that like the correct combinations of weight the logging should be proper so that like in case you have a failure so you can easily like debug it and the parallel testing also so after that like uh, he asked me regarding how uh, like there is a dynamic table which is constantly changing and uh, how i am going to read the data out of it so like in this uh, what i told him is that uh, like if uh, if we have a table and uh, something let's say the employee id for example we have employee and uh, it contains uh, different uh, features of um, like information regarding a certain employee so the employee id will always remain constant okay so what my approach is that uh, like uh, if you find an employee by his name and try to get his employee id and uh, thereafter like uh, you have the uh, td and trs and like uh, try to uh, make it uh, in such a way that if you pass uh, the employee name all the information is um, processed and after that like whatever you need you can simply like uh, get down like take out the information out of it so this was like uh, my approach and um, surprisingly like after this um, it was like interviewer told me that uh, told me that uh, he is done from his side and i thought like my interview is not good so i'll not probably he is ending early like within 20 minutes but uh, later like uh, the hr guy told me and um, like he asked me for the documentation and everything and the good part uh, about nagaro is that like they'll send you some goodies which you must have seen in other videos also that uh, they send this cup and chocolates and t-shirts also like even before joining and one more thing which i have researched about um, nagaro because they send the offer letter in which you have your salary structure and everything so like they have the best uh, tax saving salary so this was uh, this was regarding my interview with uh, nagaro and um, that was it thank you so much guys for watching